Benito. 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 Where are you? I have, I have a, task a task for you. You must find the one worthy, as the realm is now out of order. Since my death, the pigmen have been rising in the nether. The end cities prepare for war. You must find the one worthy to lead us. Do you understand? Very good. Now, go. Go and find the one. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind Vanilla server. This is the take two for me because I was silly and left some stuff on that I shouldn't have for my first recording. So guess who's recording a whole video again? It's me. Yeah, it's me. I made the mistake. It was my fault. Oh well. Live and learn. Said the program was closed, hadn't closed, and my D&D &D voice changer was stuck on for the whole recording. So unless you wanted me to sound like, I am Strad von Zorovich, which would be fitting based on the build, um, didn't really think it would be very good for a whole video. So, what I got done in the previous recording was I worked on this area yeah, that you can see on the map. Because based on the vision we've received from the dragon, we need to do more than just this tournament. We need to really get some heroes and... Creeper... Do you mind? That was very rude. My god, today's not going well. <laughs> Five minutes in. Oh, not even a minute in. We've lost my recording. We've got a creeper blowing up my base. Oh my god, can things get better? So, okay, right. We need to do more than just the, the tournament. We need to really... Why? 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 <laughs> oh my god. Right, we need to, uh, you know, properly find worthy rulers and leaders and people of power and to do that would be more than just a uh, simple joust and melee we need to do more than that yes we do so i idea i had was to actually make it so didn't drop the stairs the d nope so there is going to be more to this than just coming in and fighting my plan is to build an adventurers guild which will be for other players on the server to come over and complete quests Completing quests will obviously gain them rewards, as well as, when we do the tournament, a higher starting standing. So, similar to how in real life medieval uh, society would work, if you're a noble, you'd obviously be, you know, probably starting off with a lot more with a chance to win at a joust than a peasant, especially because peasants would be allowed to play, but you know what I mean. So. What we're going to do is we're going to cut to a time-lapse I did, because luckily that footage is still good. Uh, time-lapse I did of working on this area where we are building up not only the guild hall for the Adventurers Guild, which is going car, but also the sort of industrial area that I've been going down along with. So we'll cut to that and I'll be right back over there to explain what's going on.
Okay, so we're heading over now. You can see the building starting to pop up and the bridge that I've put in because I was tired of running over a wall. And this area has two real purposes for me, really. The first is obviously the guild hall, where we're going to set adventures and quests for people to go on. And the reason I've put it here is because if we dig in underneath, currently this is all just nothing at the moment, but there's this cave which, for those beady eyed viewers, you may have noticed in the time lapse, things kept coming out of and attacking me. Hello, zombie! So, my idea is to not light up this cave and instead put things down there to actually make it more of an adventure. You know, we could put traps, we could put rewards, we can put treasure down there, we could put things that people have to recover in order to gain, like, uh, points and gold, as it were. So, we've got some plans to do stuff there, and then obviously adventures to go elsewhere. Uh, in my previous recording, I got attacked by some raid villagers just over there when I was explaining this. I said, like, you could even have a quest to go fetch these banners, and it has to be a new banner. You can't just get the ones we had, so you have to go get a new banner. You know, little quests like that for people to do. And then you'll rank up through the ranks, get access to more of the guild, because I plan to sort of segregate it. So you start off as just like a squire, and then you work your way off to like a knight, and then a lancer, and things like that. And you get more access to better equipment and stuff in there. Because I'm thinking of having it so when you take on the quests, you are unlimited in your equipment. Because if I go into that cave in all this amazing gear, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to, you know. No issue there. So I'm going to think about how to limit your gear based on what rank you are when you when you undertake these quests. So over here, though, we have the more of the sort of industrial section where we have our blacksmith's house complete with a blacksmith forge. Whoops. Uh, we have our smelter. It's a nice little smelter. Unfortunately, I did some tests and you cannot waterlog stairs with lava. It should have been really cool to have it pouring out into these, but oh well. Uh, in the time lapse, you also probably noticed this burnt down about three times. Uh, so I've annoyingly had to replace it all with never brick. I don't like it. Simply put, this is too bulky. These bits here, especially. Um, I've tried switching the stairs, um, the stairs for the walls and stuff like that. And I, th I just don't like it. So I need to think of something else to do with this that isn't um, flammable or quite this chunky. But that's a work in progress. And then this building, which is like the crane for the goods to go up and down from the mine, which is down there. You can see my beacon light. That's where I'm mining at the moment. Uh, that's why I built this entire building, though, to be honest, because this is just a big storage room for stone. Because <laughs> I have so much stone. It's filling all my extra chests over at the, uh, the main storage room. So yeah, this is just a little pretty winch to get the goods up and down and where I'm going to be storing goods. I do need to build some kind of better lift system because at the moment I'm just like jumping down this waterfall, which you know isn't the greatest. I need to f move the storage as well, but this is just all the uh, stuff I've been building with to make this happen. So I'm quite happy with how this area is looking, especially the blacksmith. I really like it. Especially I found a cool little feature where if you have fence gates connected to a wall, they're actually slightly lower than a fence gate that's not connected to any block. So we have this nice curve going over the top, which, you know, looks really good. Especially like here, you can see it just goes up a little bit. Just adds a little bit more sort of uh, 3D-ness and texture to the build. Below water things, anvils, you know, proper blacksmith area. The interior is not done yet. Uh, I've sort of set it up so this will be a little storage area, things like that. We haven't got any stairs up yet either, so got to work on that. And then inside we is still empty if we got the main stairs inside what we have is a stairway up to a bed <laughs> so we've still got some work to do on the interiors because you know I'm bad at it interiors I I much prefer making things that look cool from a distance big castle prime example the exterior still needs a little bit of work but it's many little detail bits like that wall's a bit too blank and at the back it's also a bit too bland as well if we just hop on around here, yeah, see that bit's a bit too flat, same with that tower wall, and I do want to do something here as well. Maybe It might just be that again going around at the bottom of the, of the stair or something, but I just need to do something else to bring it around. So, now that I've recorded this for the second time, hopefully it all works out fine. Um, there's one more thing we have to look at, which is, I nearly forgot it. Which is, I actually, speaking of interiors, did an interior room at the castle. Because if you can see my levels, you know, it's like I'm pretty high on levels because of the gold farm. Because I've been 
set up the gold farm, farming gold when I've not been like doing much else to take to stock the piggy bank up via Barter Bob. So I've need a lot of gold. I mean I've been at the gold farm a lot, which means like I've got a load of extra levels. And what am I going to do with them? Well, I've been enchanting books and. Those books have started to fill my storage room up. Well, not my storage room, but my storage chest that I had for books got filled really quickly. So I had to think about a different storage solution for that. And I decided I'm gonna, I was going to build a library. So this castle is obviously based on Argon Vostholt, the map within Cursa uh, Strad, which has a library room in it. So I thought, yeah, that'll do. Let's go build that library room. So heading upstairs, we come around here. Up these stairs as well. Whoop. And then over here, I just want to check these mats. Look how far we've come. Actually, no. Look how far we've come. Like this is this is it. This is a nice grey blob. Now we've got the whole tournament grounds on here. We've got the town beside there. We've got the quarry up there. It's great, great to see the progress. Yeah, this room here, the only one with the door. Bam bam. Library. Close this. I really like how cosy this feels. It's like it's just big enough to fit everything in just small enough to have a nice cosy feeling. So we have a little seat by a fireplace where we can just sit and uh, ah, toasty, get warm after a long night with our magical blue fire, which does actually fit the aesthetic that I want in here. I've used normal lanterns because they're brighter though, just to get this place lit up. There's no lights underneath the carpet, it's all just lantern lights. And then yeah, we just have all our enchants sorted into various barrels in the chest because you can't use in the shelves sorry because you can't use chests because they'd have a full block above them they won't open but barrels are perfect for this you can see we've got loads of enchantments all over the place including trident enchants which we've got quite a lot of because i mean focusing on them ready for the jousting tournament last thing we're going to cover for today's episode behind these doors is my great witch riches which I have accumulated from my shops. So the way it's working, all my mining diamonds are going on tools and equipment and buying from other shops. All the diamonds I make from selling stuff at my shops all go in here. No exceptions, except for the six that are in my ender chest because I can't make them into a block yet. And we have... Ba -ba, ba -ba, da -da 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 -da. I don't know why you get Jurassic Park for diamonds, but here you go. So we got actually loaded diamonds, which is really cool. I've never done this in the survival world before, like building up diamond blocks like this. It's really fun. I feel like there's a sense of progression. I've got room enough to put something there if I move that torch. There we go. There's 19 diamond blocks in here. So we have a hundred and round out of 20, we 180. We're going three short. So 177 diamonds. Very good, very good. So I'm a bit rich. A bit rich. Probably not the richest on the server. I doubt I'm the richest on the server, but you know. We're making good money from the piggy bank and the redstone torch. We have our new mission from the dragon to find someone worthy to... Oh, hello darkness, hello moon. To find someone worthy to take over. And we've like, you know, we've got some good build done. So hopefully in the next episode I'll have some more work done on the adventures guild. And I'm going to do an adventure, you know. Gotta got reap what I sow, sort of thing. So, I need to prove that I can do those adventures as well before like I send other people off on them. So, I'll try and get that done for next episode to get the hall ready to be actually used. Sadly, you can't see it because of the render distance. Like, you can just, I think you can just see where the bridge is. So, sad times. Wait a minute. <laughs> that looked like there was a hole in the roof then. That's just the. Uh, the window it's just weird from this angle but yeah thanks for watching guys um if you do have any comments or suggestions even if you like for quests or anything like that you want to see uh other members of the hypine server gone do let me know and i will see you next time in the next episode of hypine toodles